It's the first real battle on Canadian soil in the War of 1812. I mean, Brock had captured uh, an undefeated American army at Detroit on American soil. And here at Queenston Heights, under General Roger Sheaf, a combined force of British regulars, Upper Canadian militia, and uh, Iroquois warriors defeated an American army in battle. Uh, so it showed under good leadership this combination could defend Upper Canada. And nobody had expected that result uh, previously. Uh, so it was a significant victory that way. It encouraged the uh, defenders of Upper Canada, raised their morale, and further discouraged the Americans. And it meant uh, the defeat of uh, another American attempt to invade and conquer Upper Canada. Uh, if, if, and if you think of the alternative, if the Americans had won here, they would have been in a very strong position to break the, the fences along the uh, uh, Niagara River, and they would have been in a very strong position early in 1813 to push further into Upper Canada, and that would have changed the nature of the war, uh, the rest of the war considerably, from what actually turned out. It's been such a special day for all Queenstonites, as we like to call ourselves. It, it, it's been remarkable to see how many people have come out to commemorate the War of 1812. And I, I created this heritage map because I wanted people to know that there was much more to Queenston than just the War of 1812. We have so many firsts here. We had the longest suspension bridge in the world when it was built. We had the, the largest floral clock when it was built. We had the Sir Adam Beck generating station, the largest hydroelectric generating station in the world when it was built. Queenston has so much history. I hope everyone will come back and enjoy it and take some time when it's not so busy and just be, just be part of Niagara. I've had so much fun. Uh, this is more fun than I could have imagined. Meeting people from across Canada, uh, uh, across, they're coming up from everywhere in the United States. The reenactments have been amazing. It, I am so happy to have been part of it. I really am. <laughs> tremendous amount of interest uh, and it, it, it's something that um, I guess you don't see much in Canada, the, the reenactments of major battles um, and, and, and battles that have changed the history of the country. Uh, so it, it's, um, it, 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 it's going to be really, <laughs> I don't know, uh, so, uh, uh, I think have quite an impact on, on Canadians, on Americans, and other visitors who see it, uh, they'll see what it was like in the exact same spot to the day, 200 years later, which is really something quite amazing.